The International Baccalaureate serves a broad and diverse range of students in public, private, independent and international school settings. With some schools taking on the diploma programme only and others who offer the whole continuing programme. Stephen Claney visited two schools in Singapore, one national and one international, to find out how the IB programme has been adopted. Singapore's education system is one of the most highly regarded in the world. These two schools, one national, part of the Ministry of Education in Singapore, and one international, are great examples of how IB is taking students beyond the classroom and preparing them to be global citizens. Winston Hodge is principal at Anglo-Chinese School Independent, where this year, on the 10th anniversary of the introduction of its IB diploma, 400 of the school's 2,800 students are preparing to sit their Year 12 diploma exams. We do not believe that you train students in the classroom alone, that the whole landscape in the school, inside and especially outside, becomes your crucible, becomes your platform, becomes your window of opportunity to make that difference. And I'm glad we have many students and parents who agree and participate fully. The participation and commitment also applies to teaching staff, who meet regularly with others in the IB world as part of continuous development and a sharing of ideas. As a result, teacher Alice Tan uses deep breathing exercises and seating which encourages interaction in her economics class. But, she says, it is also vital that her students learn by going beyond the classroom into the local and global communities. They form teams, they work on projects together. Now, in the process of that, they learn and appreciate teamwork. They better understand how, you know, what are the skill sets that are needed to function as a team. Like, for example, management skills, communication skills, which are essential for the 21st century. Student Gregory Yo Chen believes the classroom approach and the experience gained through his time working in the local community has given him the edge he needs to further his dream of a medical profession. I like the way an IB uh, conducts its examinations. Um, the difference between uh, the IB and other education systems is that the IB allows the students to uh, do a lot of presentations and this gives students um, uh, other ways to express their opinions other than being limited to writing. Not far away is the Canadian International School's Lakeside campus offering the IB to over 2,250 students from nursery through to diploma. In multicultural Singapore, there are more than 74 nationalities represented at this school. So as a continuum school, it offers the three core IB programs through the years. And it isn't all done in the classroom. Welcome to the Outdoor Discovery Centre. Yeah. Raise your hand if sometimes in the classroom you feel like this. Yeah, I feel like that. So having an outdoor classroom setting like this that complements the indoor classroom setting actually enables our IB delivery of teaching and learning to be more beneficial for our students. Their mental um, awareness is boosted, they are more confident, they are less inclined to have behavioural issues, they're more focused in classroom. The continuum approach allows concepts to be continued through all year groups. Head of Individuals and Societies, Piers Tainch, says this enables Canadian International to develop research skills and a different way to think, something that's attractive to universities. In fact, one of the things that most university uh, entrance officers say is that the way that IB students stand out is the skills that they have that have developed it within the IB that are in no other system. Year 12 students agree and sing the praises of unique programmes such as Theory of Knowledge, or TOK. This is something really unique and specific to the IB program, and it really allows you to further question uh, your knowledge. It's something we do outside of class, and it allows us to not only just focus on you know course-related, subject-related knowledge, but it allows us to question our knowledge. I think, I think critical is a good word to say what TOK gives you. Uh, you become a lot more critical of what you understand, what you're approaching, and you're able to be more analytical because of that. 